Thank you, Manor Chair, and I appreciate being able to, move, to uh, wave on to the committee. I'm a, I'm a proud original co-sponsor of Representative Jeffrey's Marijuana Freedom of and Opportunity Act and a co-sponsor of Representative Nadler's um, Moore Act, um, which would both remove cannabis from the from Regulatory um, Controlled Substance Act and um, add the uh, criminal justice and mass incarceration address it uh, issue that we've been um, perpetually um, backing, and so that would get rid of that. Um, I, I, here, here's what I want to focus on on research too. Everybody has, it seems, or most most people. On January 1st, Illinois legalized recreational cannabis uh, across the uh, our, our state. And dispensaries sold more than $19.7 million in cannabis over the first 12 days. Um, however, research at Northwestern University, which is in my district um, a, and is a leading research institution, have no way of accessing the cannabis that is sold in these dispensaries. And instead, Northwestern scientists often face extreme difficulty in securing and maintaining cannabis and federal funding for the research. So I'm glad that there is strong bipartisan support, at least for most of H.R. 3797, Representative Blumenauer's Medical Marijuana Research Act of 2019, um, the bill would streamline the cannabis research process to ensure that our academic institutions remain at the cutting edge, et cetera. Dr. Um, Volkwa, Volkow and um, Dr. Um, Throckmorton, how can we establish a process by which researchers in a state like Illinois where recreational marijuana has been, uh, has been legalized and several, several different strains of cannabis are now widely available. How could Illinois acquire um, uh, the, the research supply through local dispensaries? And this is a question that we've been discussing it and uh, DEA is the one that's actually on the process of identifying additional sources of uh, marijuana so that researchers can investigate uh, marijuana from different, dif different dispensaries. Uh, so that is ongoing, and, uh, it's a, but that's regulated by the DEA. And, and are we, can we look forward to some change there? As we have previously uh, discussed, I think one of the challenges uh, is unfortunately the fact that uh, for your purposes, a researcher who is procuring um, a controlled substance for research purposes is obligated under the Controlled Substances Act to procure that substance from another federal DEA registered right. researcher. Right. So none of these dispensaries are, re are um, applying for registration. None of them are registered with the DEA, um, and therefore they are unable to uh, distribute to um, researchers. So we, so we would have to get marijuana off the Controlled Substance um, Act uh, out of it in order to do the research that we absolutely need to do on what is being sold right now and millions and millions of dollars being spent on it and many, many users. I, well, certainly that's your discretion and Congress's discretion as, as one way to solve the, that issue. I, I don't know at the end of the day where uh, this administration would come down on, on that approach. Is that the only way? Uh, no, I think there's other legislative means by which uh, Congress could propose to change that specific requirement. Um, but I do believe that it would require some legislative uh, changes to the Controlled Substances Act. Um, I, I did want to say about that piece of um, legislation, H.R. 3797, that I do have a concern that DOJ would have the ability to deny medical marijuana licenses based on even minor past drug convictions and hope that we can also remedy that. Um, though I know that we don't all agree on deregulation and descheduling, um, we, uh, 
I, I think are at the very least should be able to work together to ensure adequate research is able to be uh, conducted so that we know the consequences of what people are using right this very minute in the state of Illinois and many other states. And I yield back. Uh, gentlewoman yields back.